In today's fierce arena of global technology competition, China's chip field has always been subject to constraints and challenges. For example, the trilateral alliance formed by the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands not only imposed sanctions on China, but also banned the export of photolithography machines to China. Just when it is generally believed that China is making slow progress in the chip field, Huawei recently launched a smartphone called Mate 60 Pro. The phone is equipped with Huawei's latest developed Kirin 9000S chip, which uses China's most advanced 7 nanometer chip technology. Just as some British media claimed that China had broken through the three-year blockade of chips by the United States, the U.S. Secretary of Commerce stated after visiting China that it would continue to sell semiconductor chips to China. At the same time, European lithography machine supplier ASML also suddenly begged China to continue buying their lithography machines. This series of actions makes people surprised, and at the same time, they are also very curious about whether there is any deep meaning behind it. Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. In recent years, China's Huawei has achieved very rapid development momentum. For example, in 2019, China successfully launched the Hongmeng OS system, breaking through the US blockade of the operating system. Shortly afterwards, Huawei independently developed a widely used cloud service platform, making China no longer dependent on the US cloud service platform. As we all know, the United States has always been wary of China especially after seeing that China has caught up with their decades of hard work in just a dozen years. Therefore, the United States has adopted some disgraceful measures, such as arresting the chief financial officer of the Chinese company Huawei in 2018. Just when the United States thought that such a move would frighten China and slow down its own development, China was working hard to strengthen itself. In order to fight back against the US measures, Huawei has become the only company in the world that can provide comprehensive 5G solutions. The United States saw that their strategy was not working and turned to another plan. They first cooperated with Japan to block China's development in the field of high-end semiconductors. Then, the United States cooperated with the Netherlands to ban the export of high-end photolithography machines to China. However, China is not a country that tolerates others' wanton bullying of itself. So what measures has China taken to fight back? It is understood that gallium and germanium are indispensable and important materials in the manufacturing process of photolithography machines, and China is the main supplier of scarce mineral resources such as gallium and germanium in the world. In response to the Dutch restrictions, China decided to implement export controls on scarce mineral resources such as gallium and germanium. It is reported that China's ban on the export of raw materials has seriously hindered the development of the Netherlands' semiconductor industry. In addition, industries such as fiber optics and biomedicine are also highly dependent on these scarce mineral resources, and this move will cause these industries to face supply chain shortages. It is important to note that the United States has always been a leader in these industries. Therefore, China's move is not only a strong response to the Dutch sanctions, but also a counterattack to the US measures. Shockingly, shortly after China responded to US sanctions, Huawei launched a phone called the Mate 60 Pro. According to the investigation, the mobile phone uses the new Kirin 9000's chip, and this chip uses 7 nanometers process technology. There is only a slight performance gap compared to the world's leading chips. More importantly, the adoption of this chip not only means that China has successfully broken through the US technological blockade in the chip field, but also means that China can mass-produce 5G chips. Therefore, many countries are shocked by this breakthrough by China Huawei. But do you know what it actually means to mass-produce 5G chips? China's Huawei is able to mass-produce 5G chips, which means they are no longer afraid of threats from the United States, 
but can confidently demonstrate their technological strength and innovation capabilities. At the same time, the mass production of Huawei's 5G chips also means that the US Chip Alliance's sanctions plan has completely failed. More importantly, the mass production of Huawei's 5G chips marks an important milestone for China's chip market. It means that China has occupied a certain position in the global chip market. And over time, China's chip industry will become the dominant player in this field. It is understood that the US Secretary of Commerce witnessed this grand scene in China. For this reason, the US Secretary of Commerce stated during his visit to China that he would continue to sell semiconductor chips to China. This makes people very curious, why doesn't the United States continue to impose sanctions on China? Before August 2023, the three major chip giants in the United States had jointly persuaded the Biden administration not to impose large-scale chip sanctions on China. Their main reason is that chip giants believe that losing the Chinese market will lead to the shutdown of the chip factories they are already building, because the US market simply cannot provide such high demand. In addition, the United States is extremely dependent on a large number of semiconductor chips imported from Taiwan, China, in manufacturing high-tech products. Therefore, in a sense, if the United States continues to impose a semiconductor blockade on China, it will encourage China to redouble its efforts and promote domestic industry chain manufacturers to increase orders to prevent sanctions and blockade. This will spur China to build alternatives to US technology, such as Huawei's Kirin chips. Therefore, the US Secretary of Commerce recently stated that except for the most advanced chips, they will not sell them to China, but other chips can be sold. In addition, it is worth mentioning that the Netherlands has recently changed its attitude towards China. For example, the CEO of Dutch lithography machine giant ASML expressed the hope that China will continue to purchase high-end lithography machines from the Netherlands regardless of the Netherlands' previous behavior towards China. While this move surprised people, they also wondered why the Netherlands would take similar measures to the United States. It is not difficult to understand that Dutch ASML has taken such a move. Previously, the Netherlands cooperated with the United States to stop selling high-end photolithography machines to China. Since ASML is a giant in the lithography machine industry, most of its high-end lithography machines are produced by themselves. As a result, the Dutch move caused ASML to lose nearly a quarter of its lithography machine order revenue. According to statistics, China purchases six to eight high-end lithography machines from ASML every year and the price of a lithography machine exceeds 400 million US dollars. As a result, the Dutch move costs ASML approximately 3 billion dollars annually. More importantly, China has recently implemented export controls on scarce mineral resources such as gallium and germanium, resulting in a decrease in the number of lithography machines produced by ASML by approximately 20 units per year. It is understood that the average price of a lithography machine is 300 million US dollars, which means ASML will lose approximately 6 billion US dollar every year. In the long run, ASML's losses may be greater and may even lead to the company's bankruptcy. Therefore, it is understandable that ASML shows softness to China and asks China to resume cooperation. However, now that China has broken through the blockade in the chip field and can mass-produce 5G chips, this means that the Netherlands' ban on exporting lithography machines to China is of little significance. So will China agree to the request of Dutch ASML? Regarding the Dutch ASML request, many people believe that China should agree to their request. But China needs to ask ASML to reduce the export price of lithography machines and give significant discounts on lithography machines as compensation for previous sanctions. In fact, whether China will continue to purchase ASML lithography machines mainly depends on the attitude of the Netherlands. If the Netherlands actively cooperates with other countries in continuing to impose sanctions on China, China will completely blacklist the Netherlands. If the Netherlands actively shows goodwill to China and breaks away from Western organizations, 
then China will still be willing to buy Dutch lithography machines. This video ends here. What do you think of the practices of the United States and the Netherlands? Do you think China will become the dominant player in the chip field? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area to share your thoughts and feelings. If you like the content of this issue, please recommend it to your friends so that more people can see this video. Thank you everyone for watching and supporting, see you next time.